Have you ever need to take a quick look on a parameter's value during modeling? Maybe you inherited a Simulink model from another engineer and just want to check if the GAN block was given a reasonable GAN value, but the variable that specified to the GAN was defined inside a deeply nested struct. You would need to go to the workspace where the top struct is defined, then navigate into the struct until you find the variable. Sometimes it really costs you time just to see the simple value. To help you in such a situation, we introduce the in-place parameter value display feature in the coming release. Let's say I have a Simulink model that represents a car. All data used by this model was defined in different MATLAB classes and structured according to the model hierarchy. Root data is a type of vehicle class and contains all the data needed by the model. Inside root data, there are three groups of data represented as properties. Engine is a type of engine V8 class and contains all data needed by the engine subsystem. Drivetrain is a type of drivetrain 4x4 class and contains all data needed by the drivetrain subsystem. And finally, vehicle body is a type of body SUV class and contains all data needed by the vehicle body subsystem. Inside each subgroup of data, there are different variables that are defined to be used in those corresponding subsystems. Besides that, there are other variables defined in the model workspace and attached data dictionary that used by some blocks. Now, Let's see how you can leverage this feature when you are working with the model. On the top level, let's open the system block dialog. The system block is a mask subsystem with a data object parameter on the mask. The value of that parameter is specified as root data. In this case, the type of root data will be shown on the right end of the edit widget as a link, since the root data is a struct. If you wonder how this vehicle class is defined, you can click on the label and the MATLAB doc page for this class will pop up. You can scroll through this auto-generated doc page or click on the view code link at the top right corner of the view to check the actual code. Now, Let's dive into the subsystem. This time, I want to check the drivetrain block. This block is also a masked subsystem with two promoted parameters from the blocks that are underneath it. Motor power is specified with obg.drivetrain.motorpower, which has a double value defined. So it shows the value right in the edit widget. Same for the generator power. Next, I want to check the engine subsystem. I double click to open the dialog for the constant block. For this constant value, it is specified as an expression with variables that defined in model workspace and base workspace. Fortunately, with this feature, the result of this expression is already calculated and it displayed on the right side of the expression without any additional action. Now, let's get into the body subsystem and opens the constant block dialog. I have a data dictionary attached to this model and I'm using a variable defined in that data dictionary in this block. And as shown, the expression also gets correctly resolved by finding the right variable in that data dictionary. 